Hi and welcome to Pebbles channel. I hope you are carrying on doing your work that is a lot of reading, writing and exploring new things and in this juncture I would like to tell you that reading goes a long way. So let it be any small book that you get it is always good to read. The more you read the more vocabulary you will achieve and you will come across a lot of new words. So be it a small notice or the newspapers or even your school books it is always good to read. So our topic for today will be science for standards 3 and 4. Science is something that keeps on developing and today's news will be outdated tomorrow and there are no new inventions when science is compared when compared with other subjects so science helps us know the world and the surroundings that we live in so we will be seeing about plants plants is something that we find all around us or wherever we go and we as humans depend on plants be it food or shelter or clothing we depend on plants not only humans animals as well depend entirely for plants on plants for their food so let us see the different topics in plants how they help us what are the parts of the plant, the roots that are involved and the other things involved in a plant. And we will be seeing the life cycle of a butterfly. So let us start with plants at the beginning. So as I've already told you, reading increases or helps us improve our vocabulary and we come to learn a lot of new words or we can indulge in writing our own books and when it comes to school um, essay, writing essays all this will help. So let us see what do you mean by science. So science is something we know is around us, things that we find around us that is the plants, the animals, the climatic changes and things that happen in space so we are quite familiar only because of science so let us define science so science is defined as the observation observation is the learning of things for example if we take a butterfly we see the different stages in a butterfly or we take our humans there are different stages that is first is the infancy stage that is when we are babies then comes the toddler or the children then the adolescence and adulthood and finally old age so all these are involved with science so science in general is the growing even if you take a plant it first starts from a seed and it then grows into a sapling and then into a plant and then finally a tree. So science is the observation of the changes that take place. The next is the description. It describes how a person is or how an animal is because each is unique and each of us have different sizes, shape, our structure changes one may be tall one may be short but may be of the same age for example a child who is two years may be quite tall for his age while another child who is the same age that is two may be a little shorter so all these changes so the description and the experimental so where science is concerned we do a lot of experiments and the more we experiment the more we come to know about certain things that have been developing so experimental investigation investigation as you see is very important for science 
because we are curious to know how a particular seed is growing into a sapling and then into a plant. So the study of science is mainly because of our curiosity and that leads to investigation and theoretical explanation. So finally all these things that is the observation, the description, the experimental, experimental and the investigation finally ends up in a theoretical explanation. That is why we study in school about science. So whatever investigation we have done comes down as theory and theoretical explanation of natural phenomena. So what causes day and night? What causes the change in seasons that is summer, winter, spring etc. So only by reading or studying the theory we come to know about the changes in the natural phenomena. For example, if you take one day, the climate may be sunny. The very next minute, it changes or it starts raining. And there are certain months where it rains and then winter sets in and then the summer or the spring comes in. So all this is possible only by observation, description, experimental investigation and finally theoretical explanation. That's why I have said in the very beginning, science is something that the more we read, the better we will understand. And it should not stop with only reading, it should move on to doing certain experiments. Like for example, we come to know that when we pour water and oil, it does not mix. So all this is possible only by experimenting.